even though you say that she's your friend, check me out. Come here. I'm gonna show you something. If a war broke out right now, if a war broke out right now between your people and their people, she would have no part. churches and they portray this image across all the broadcast TV stations. We see that image and then as soon as we walk away and tur or turn that TV off, guess what we do? Even though we may read it in the Bible that Christ is black, but when they put that image on TV and we see that image on TV, guess what we think? And you turn the TV off, guess what we do? We automatically forget. Yeah. Just like we ask your nationality and explain that to you that you're an Israelite. You're a sister. You're a freaking princess. Right. Like that, 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 that's not something you can take light or just take and say, oh, I'm a princess and leave. You are a real princess. Right. The DNA that runs through your blood, that blood is holy blood. Right. You're not African-American, as he explained, because African is a white man's name. The term African comes from Leo Scipio Africanus. He conquered Hannibal, who's a black, who's a so-called black man, during the Second Punic Wars, and he changed the whole name of the continent to fit his last name, Africanus. Thus, we have Africa. Same thing with America, which was discovered by Amerigo Vespucci, and the name of this continent is named after America, uh, uh, Ves Amerigo Vespucci as America. So when you say you're African-American, and when any of our people say they're African-American, they're saying, I come from two white men. Right. The brother explained, that's not possible. But the blood in your body is actual royal blood. I want right. to that in, in Peter, a royal priesthood. Two and nine. Two and nine real quick. Listen to this real quick. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Obedience, sacrifice. That's right. But ye are a chosen generation. Who is he talking to? He, this book ain't written to the whole world. This book is written to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's it. The children of Israel. Nobody else. Now, they may use this book and give it to everybody, but that's the great deception. Make this Bible fit all nations. This Bible ain't for all nations. It's only for you. Right. Read. But you are a chosen generation. Come on. A royal priesthood. A what? A royal priesthood. Right we are a royal priesthood. That's why we come out here dressed like this to show our people, look, we are royal people. This ain't even a, 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 a this ain't even close to the royalty that we once possessed. Right. This ain't even close to the type of people that we used to be prior to the fall of the nation of Israel. Right. Don't you want that back? Don't you want to wake up? And not have to think about where your next check is going to come from. Right. How you going to pay your light bill? How you going to pay your rent? Don't you yeah. want that? Right. The answer is right here. It all starts with us returning back to our God. We're the only people that have a God. Right. Give me that in Joel 2.27 real quick. To show you as a royal priesthood, as a princess, God is only your God. Right. He ain't the God of nobody else. It's been written here since the Bible was written. But it hasn't been taught to our people. Our pastors in these churches, they're not set up and designed to teach us according to the words of God. Right. They're designed to teach us according to theology that is taught to them by the same man that put you in chains. Right. right. Read. Right. Oh. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Come on. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God is saying that I'm in the midst of the Israelites. The people that I chose way back when in Deuteronomy. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. Uh-huh. And none else. He ain't what? And none else. He's the Lord your God and nobody else. Really? But our churches don't teach that. And in this day and time, we hear things and then we go, we just keep on going about our day, even when the most important information that you will ever hear on the planet Earth is coming out. Why? Right. Because judgment is coming. Keep right. reading Matthew that I told you uh, about them eating, eating and drinking. It's Matthew 24 and 35, I believe. You know, Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Is that it? Heaven and earth shall pass yes. away. Come on. But my words shall not pass away. Hey, it's, Christ is saying right here, heaven and earth is going to pass away. What are the heavens gonna, that's going to pass away? Because this Bible is written in parables. What is the heavens that are going to pass away? These high places that we render, these courtrooms, these, this high system that uh, keep our people oppressed, all of this is going to pass away. Come on. You know, but my words shall but not. the word of God, you being this chosen people, that's never going to pass. Come on. But of that day and hour, no, no man. But when that destruction is going to come, 
No man know the no man know the day that that destruction is coming. Read. Not no. the angels of heaven. Not even the angels in heaven know when Christ, the Black Messiah, is gonna come and destroy this place. Read. But my Father only. Only God knows. Read. But as the days of Noah were. Just like in the days of Noah, we right now. Uh, this is similar to the days of Noah. What happened during the time of Noah? Noah was telling the people, hey, get right. You're a princess. Keep God's laws. Look, God is going to cause it to rain on this earth and going to destroy everything. You got to get yourself together in order to be saved. Just like in the days of Noah, we're in the days of Noah now. You see your brothers coming to the street. We're telling you, sis, you're a princess. You're royal. Come and learn what the Bible says because this thing that we see around us is going to pass away. This is why you're seeing this uprising of Israelites taking place across all the world. Right. All over the world right now you have camps set up teaching the word of God. Right. That is through the spirit of God that is causing his word to go forth in the earth. Why? So that he can bring destruction on this earth. Right. And there are going to be people that hear the word and don't take heed to the word and going to be destroyed with their oppressor right here in this land. This place is going to fall. Read. But as the days of Noah were, uh -huh. so shall also be the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall the coming of Christ be. So, read on. For as in the days that were before the flood, uh -huh. they were eating and drinking. They were eating, drinking, going to the store, going to the north side flea, uh, fish market, going to the flea market, going right. to the hair store. They were going to all these different places. The word of God is coming out. Read. Marrying and giving in marriage. They were marrying, they were marrying, getting drunk. Drinking, smoking, and going to, and, and doing what? Going into marriage? Yep. Read. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that the children of Israel, those that are keeping the commandments, are going to enter into the ark. Which this time ain't going to be an ark. It's going to be a chariot that those people call a UFO. That UFO no. is not a UFO. It's not an un uh, uh, what they call it? Un unidentified uh, object. object. It's not an un unidentified object. That object that they keep seeing that they cannot deny, they know that those are the chariots of the Most High God. That's so right. when the Israelites that are teaching our people repent, come to keep God's commandments, enter into these chariots this time, that destruction is going to be a massive destruction. You don't have to suffer in this destruction. All you have to do, sister, is remember the words of God and change. Read. And knew not until the flood came. They didn't know that they were going to be destroyed until the flood came. So listen, the brother is bringing out a lot of good information. Don't just hear the word. Understand that you are royalty. Right. When I was coming up, this place was a safe haven. That's why I said right here, safe haven. It was a safe haven for our children. Now, this safe haven has turned into a mental trap, an institution to indoctrinate our children in things outside of God's law. Right. We gotta come back and remember Get, get Deuteronomy 76 with you. Oh, let's go basic. Because that's something you need to know, sis. It's a heavy thing that you're still standing here by your mama and listening to the word of God. Everybody is not going to hear this word and accept it. Some people are going to want to do their own thing. And those are going to be the ones that fall when this destruction comes. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Most I got ain't talking to everybody. He's only talking to the children of Israel, the people on this side. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are your brothers. The Native Americans, those are your brothers and sisters. Those Hispanics that we call uh, sticks, those are your brothers and sisters. Y'all got the same blood. You come from the same father. But here in America, you're taught that, oh, they Mexican, and, 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 and they're uh, Indians. Right. Y'all should mix together, or y'all should be around each other. Yeah. God is telling us we are the same people. We come from the same father she had the same blood read it again for the lord for thou art and holy people blacks hispanics and native americans you are holy people unto the lord thy god read unto the lord thy god come on the lord thy god hath chosen thee what does it feel to be chosen that's why the brother said hold your favorite shoes you have a favorite pair of shoes right those are your chosen pair this outfit is your chosen outfit this is your favorite guess what we are god's favorite but you're never gonna hear that in your school you're never going to hear that in your churches. You're not going to hear that your black skin is more precious than any other skin on this earth. No. You're not going to hear that. The only brothers and sisters are going to tell you that is the Israelites because we know who we are. We're telling you who you are. We're telling you that you're royalty. We're showing you that you're royalty. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. We read that and we might think, chosen? The God of heaven and earth has chosen blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You're chosen. You are chosen. This sister is chosen. Read. Above 
all people. No, blacks are equal to all people. Above all people. No, they're equal to the so-called white woman in here that's teaching them how to beat a drum and not keep God's laws. Read. Above all people. So you mean to tell me these children that are in here are above the lady that's teaching them to beat a drum? Right. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You above everybody that's on the face of the earth. But do you feel like that when you wake up? When you walk into society, do you feel like you're above all people? No, because when you look, when you turn the TV on, what do you see? It's your people being shot down, right? So how are you above all people, right? When you go into, when you go, if it's you and this lady in here that goes for a job interview, who you think gonna get the job first? You know why? You above all people, though, right? So what has happened? What has happened to the chosen people that God chose? What has happened to them? You know, we have fell from the heights of heaven to the pits of hell. But we're here to raise you up. You don't have to settle for what North Florence offers you. You don't have to settle for what Wilson High School offers you. Right. You don't have to settle for what Florence Darlington Tech down the street has to offer you. Right. God is offering you a kingdom with streets paved with gold. Right. Right. But will you accept it? Will you accept the walk not even to walk. Will you accept being carried by your enemies on the streets paved with gold? Will you accept that from God? Or do you want to accept what Nicki Minaj, what them crazy Cardi girls' names, uh, 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 Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B? Or do you do you want to accept what God is giving you? Or you want to accept what Cardi B and them are showing you? What Megan Thee Stallion is showing you? They're showing you an illusion. They're showing you a lie. They get paid to show you a lie. What? Understand this, sister. What's your name? I can't hear you. Ardua. Ardua? Yes. Did I say it right? Yes. Ardua. They're getting paid to tell you a lie. The te they're getting paid to show you what you think you want. Right. What you think you should go after in life. They're getting paid to show you that, but God is saying what? You're chosen. Read. Above all people, above everybody, come on, that are upon the face of the earth. So any other nation that you can name, white man, Chinese man, uh, uh, any other people that you can name, you are above them. You God placed you above them. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you are few in number. So he's saying, I didn't choose y'all because y'all were just a little bit of people in number. Come on. But you, for you are the fewest of all people. We were the fewest of it. all the people. I mean, it was more white men. It was more Chinese men. It was more of all the other nations than it was of us. Read. But because the Lord loved you. But because God loved you. But because God loved you, Audrey. Don't say the right Audrey. Read. And because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers. So he's keeping the oath that he swore to our fathers. Read. Has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand Come on. and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen? So this here is the house of bondmen. That's why you got to go fill out a dang on application to get a job. You don't need no job. In the kingdom, you go, in the kingdom, you ain't going to have no job. You know what your job is going to be? Your job is going to be to tell these other nations to get their behind the work, build this wall, pay to go farm this land. That's the same right. thing that they're telling us to do right now, right. that's going to be your job. Your job is going to be rulers. Read. <laughs> and redeemed you out of the house of bondage Come on. from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So the king of feet, the, the Pharaoh today is Donald Trump. Pharaoh today is America. Right. Read. Read. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, uh -huh. the faithful God, which keepeth the covenant and mercy with them that love him. So God keeps his covenant with them that love him. We got to come back to keeping the laws of God. Outside of that, there is nothing else. So I see, like the brother said, I see y'all went to the store. I see you trying to leave. I see you trying to leave. Yeah, because I got, got some things. I understand that. But what but I want I you to. I not listen to my brothers. But I, want, but I want you to take this with you. Understand that you are God's people. Your shirt says black goddess. It should say black princess because in the nation of Israel, we didn't have queens. All right? But you're still a princess. That's who you are. Right. So when you leave in a day, if you forget all that has been said, you take no heed to what has been said in this Bible. In the day of judgment, you know what you're going to remember? You're going to remember these prophets standing right here telling you what thus says the Lord. Right. That's what you're going to remember. We're not out here just to scream and yell at our people. God has set us on a mission to mark our people. You're not no. going to be able to say, I didn't know.
You're not going to be able to say, I never, I never knew. Right. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee. So don't do that. When you leave here, don't, don't do this thing. Read. And cast thy law behind their backs. Don't cast the laws, the thing that you heard behind your back. That's what your daughter did. Yeah. That's what she did. This is what we're here to show our people. So I know you got to get it, but let me tell you something, sis. You might see us out here as just some niggas reading from the Bible. That is not who we are. It's what prophesies that in the last days, God will send his spirit upon the young men to guard and teach. Because our old men ain't teaching nothing here in North Florence. Right. No. You can't learn nothing from these winos down here. We got a madman down here, mad as all our doors, smitten with madness, talking to phone booths. But we're here to show you who you are. You're God's chosen people. You are the greatest creation on the earth. What's your name, sis? Shania. Shania. If I said Shania, what's your nationality? What would you say? I'm American, all right? So when I say nationality, when we talk about nationality, we're talking about bloodline. Thank you. What nation of people do you come from? West Indian. You West Indian? You show sure you West Indian. Yeah, I'm fine. What's your father? My father's black. Yeah, but well, he, I mean, what, would he be called Jamaican? No. Would he be called? It's my mom and my grandma. They're from Barbados. Your, your mom and grandma is from Barbados. Where's your daddy from? Florence. Florence, South Carolina? Mm -hmm. Would he be considered an African American? Yeah. Okay, get that in numbers real quick. I'm gonna let you come back in a second. Let me show, show you something. Because the Bible, which we don't want to accept, is our book. These are our records. Our forefathers wrote this and left this for us so that we could find ourselves in the last days. But what our enemies have done is place this, I want that in numbers, uh, 118. Our, what, our enemies have placed this book in all churches, gave it to everybody across the earth and said, everybody come to church and learn the Bible. That ain't what this is. This book is a book of records of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. That's all right. the captivities that we went in and the captivity that we're in right now. Right. Read what you got. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. So we read this because you said you're, you, first you said you're American, then you said you're, uh, yeah. <laughs> Barba you're, 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 you're your West mother's Indian. from Barbados. She's West Indian. The Bible says you are what your father is. Read. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees. A pedigree is a bloodline. Anybody that breed dogs, they'll say, well, this pedigree is a, a is pit bull. My, uh, what was the name of a bully. pit bull? Bully or something like that. So your pedigree is your bloodline. Come on. After their families. Uh -huh. By the house of their father. So your pedigree isn't going to be by the house of your father because he carries the sperm. He has the sperm. All your mother did was carry the sperm. She fertilized the egg that produced you. In slavery, we've learned, we've acquired this name, American blacks. But God says you're from the tribe of Judah, which is the top tribe in Israel. So that's my, that's my tribe. Your tribe is the tribe of Judah. That's give right. That, give me numbers. So y'all spiritual or y'all religion? We're spiritual. We're not, this is not religion. Yeah, I'm these, not religion this is, these are God's law, statutes, and commandments. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. So from this day forward, what's your nationality? Judah. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's who right you are. There. You come from the nation of Israel. No, that's right. That's who you are. Do y'all meet up often? We're going to be here. Right? We're going to be right here until we establish more traction and ground here. Y'all going to get inside this. the building first. Yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get there. Read. Y'all know that little group is what it's on? We don't know. I helped start that. Read. Are you the bottom the Chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. Now Israel. What's your name again? Shania. Shania. Now Israelite Shania. Come on. What did the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear God. Because our people ain't got no fear. That's why we're doing what we want to do on the Lord's Sabbath day. Who we know it's the Lord's Sabbath day. Today is the is a day that God has set separately aside for you. It's a covenant between you and God. Read. To walk in all his ways. Come on. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God Come on. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So in fearing God, you're going to keep God's commandments. That's what you're going to do. You're going to say, I'm an Israelite. Damn, I ain't supposed to do Deuteronomy 225. I ain't supposed to do this. In this country, in this captivity and slavery, you have learned customs from your enemies. Bring it out. You have learned customs from people that don't look like you. We all have. The smoking, the drinking, the clubbing, the fighting. We picked up these things here in this captivity. That is not who we are. <laughs> but you didn't know that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. So this is going to hurt a little bit. 
The stab is gonna hurt a little bit. But it's love, sister. This is love. Because ain't nobody else gonna come and tell you this. And that's why we have to come to the streets and tell our people this. Pastor in the church ain't coming out here to stand before nobody and read the Bible and tell them the truth. He's not gonna do it. No. Free. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Free. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So you believe in God? You believe that there's a there's somebody created all this stuff, right? Yeah. Somebody made this. That's the most high God. Most like God says, a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man, neither can a man wear that which pertains to a woman. So let's go a little bit slower. What articles of clothing do women wear that men, what do women wear that they shouldn't wear that belong to men? I'm gonna ask this sister right here. Sister, quick look, light, a light, easy question, because she's, she's very modest. What do women wear today that they didn't wear back in the 50s and the 60s? Article of clothing that belongs to men. Pants. Pants. See how easy that was? Pants. Yeah. Pants. Pants were created. That's why the sister, Lord's, Lord's willing, you wear dresses all the time. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And, because, and, and, that, and that's because during the 60s, we learned a new doctrine from the so called white woman. Yeah. She put the pants on and started walking down the street because she wanted to wear pants like the men. But prior to that, our women did not wear pants. All through slavery, picking cotton, they wore yes, what? Yes. Dresses. Why? Because when we came into slavery, we understood that custom. We kept that custom. Because Yo. God said that women are to be modest. Just like today we have men wearing what? Skirts. Skirts, purse, whatever the hell they want to call it. God says that's wrong. That's called cross-dressing. Pants were given to men. You got that? Exodus? We're going to show you. We're going to show you real quick. I just got a couple of things I want to show you. Don't bring it off, sir. Let me do it. Book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 42. Right. So, because people will say, well, these are women pants. Sister, there is no such thing. Our enemies have deceived us. There's no such thing as women pants. No. Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. So, breeches, we from the South. We know what we call pants in the South. We call them breeches, meaning they split. There's a part in between them. Breeches, come on. To cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs shall they reach. So the breeches are made to cover from the loins unto the thighs. Come on. And they shall be upon Aaron. They shall be upon Aaron, who is a man, and and upon his sons. And upon who? His sons. His daughters. His sons. His women. His sons. The pants were made to cover the nakedness of the man that when we came out of Egypt, because they started dressing like the Egyptians. They were wearing dresses. God said, Y'all gotta put on pants. Dresses are for women, but in the early 60s, our women learned this custom. Because you want to get married someday, right? You married now? Mm -mm. I mean, uh, no, you're not married. Mm -mm. Got a boyfriend? Yeah. See? 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 You see that? You say that's right? Mm -mm. You don't really know. Just say that. Be honest. Mm -hmm. You don't know if it's right. It seems right because everybody in the world been doing it, right? Yeah. So it seems right. But God says if that man lay with you, he stay with you. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to walk you for a short distance like right here, and then you're going to come back. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Hello. Envy thou not the oppressor. Who is your oppressor? Who, owns the, who runs the government? What, what do they look like? They look like white. white. They, they are the white man. The so-called white man is your oppressor. Who put the, chain, who put the chains on you down there? All right. Who is it that's shooting you down in the street? On a daily basis and getting paid to do it. Real. What the scripture say? Envy thou not the oppressor. God says, don't envy your oppressor. Now come here. I'm gonna show you something. The hair on your head. Oh, I hear that. Oh. Bring it off. Who in there got hair like that? That's why God says, bring it off. Envy your oppressor. Because even though you say that she's your friend, check it out. Hey, I'm gonna show you something. If a war broke out right now, if a war broke out right now between your people and their people, she wouldn't have no part. Think so? Did our people go into slavery? Did the Bible say it was going to go into slavery? Yes. So that happened, right? So if the beginning, if this, if God said this was going to happen to the children of Israel, and it happened, God also says war is going to break out on this earth and Christ is going to return. You think that's going to happen? So, so this is going to happen too. Read this. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 14. 
And it shall be as a chase rope. So this is doing the destruction that is going to come on this earth. Read. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. Come on. They shall every man turn to his own people. So when this when this destruction takes place, even though you think she won't have nothing to do with it, if the, if they are forced to choose sides, y'all ain't gonna be French no more. And they will be forced. They will be forced to to do what does say the Lord. This is what we're showing out. Get out. This is love telling you, sister, don't follow, don't fall into what you think is right. Fall into what God is saying. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.